and a push to increase cleanliness and safety downtown is underway. This after ongoing issues outside of the city market. Some business owners say they've seen excessive litter, open drug use and fights. RTV6's Megan Singtorm spoke with them today and explains the impact it's starting to have on that area. This area outside of City Market looks clean right now, but vendors say it's a much different sight than what you'll find here most mornings. Trash on the tables, trash on the ground, and people hanging in the area starting fights and using drugs. It's something business owners inside City Market say is becoming more and more common. Now it's starting to impact their cash flow. The owner of Circle City Suites says the crowd and mess outside of City Market is causing some of her regular customers to think twice before coming inside. As a baker, she often works odd hours and says sometimes she doesn't even feel safe herself. This isn't just an issue of perception that it might be dirty. It is dirty. It's not a perception that it's not safe. It isn't safe. Um, so this is, this is a much bigger issue than just a homelessness. This is open drug use. I mean, complete open drug use. People smoking spice on the steps of the city market. People selling heroin and using heroin in our plaza. I pulled police reports and found cases of theft, battery, trespassing, vandalism, and narcotics investigations all at this location, all in the past two months. Other business owners inside City Market say something needs to be done. It's going to take more security, 24-hour security. It's going to take more money. It's going to take, it's going to take a lot, and it's it's going to be hard for and it's going to be hard for that to just go into gear and happen. It's not going to happen overnight. I understand that, but that's what needs to be done. It's something leaders with the city market say they are looking into. They tell me they're working with IMPD and officers are doing more sweeps of the area. They say they've also added more lighting and they're now working with other city organizations to brainstorm possible solutions. Working for you, Megan Sanctorum, RTV6.